As the situation grows more complicated in the Kursk region, the simultaneous completion of operation in Korenevo and the Glushkovsky district will place Putin in a precarious operational stalemate. There are signs that these issues could be resolved by the end of this week or early next week, Ukrainian military expert and the analyst of the information resistance group Alexander Kovalenko shared his views on his Telegram channel. He said that while Russian federal level propaganda focuses on the advance of Russian troops in the Toretsk Pokrovsk direction and Putin's visit to Azerbaijan, local war correspondents and bloggers are sounding alarms about the crisis unfolding in the Kursk region, and rightly so. The once convenient logistics route to the Belgorod region is now compromised due to Ukraine's fire control over key supply arteries. The Glushkovsky district is increasingly isolated and efforts to use pontoon bridges as a workaround are proving ineffective as these are more vulnerable and less efficient than fixed bridges. The Russian forces in Glushkovsky find themselves with limited time to retreat to the northern bank of the Sim River. Despite this, the Russian command is attempting to move logistics and reinforcements, further complicating the situation Kovalenko pointed out. The Ukrainian operation is opening a path to Rilsk, just 15 kilometers from key logistical hubs. Ukrainian forces could potentially cut off these hubs with fire control without needing a full-scale city assault. Rilsk, divided by the Seam River with only two bridges, presents a significant vulnerability for the Russian forces. By September the 6th, one month after the beginning of the Kursk operation, it is anticipated that Ukrainian forces will control up to 2,000 square kilometers in the Kursk region, greatly expanding their operational area. Meanwhile, Russian forces may still be struggling to make significant progress in Pokrovsk, the expert added. Putin faces a critical decision, continue focusing on Pokrovsk, which could lead to greater losses in Kursk or shift his strategy. The expected bet on Pokrovsk could exacerbate Russian losses in Kursk, outweighing any minor gains since early 2024. Ukraine's strategy for 2024, primarily defensive with selective counter-attacks, aims to exhaust the enemy rather than hold territory. Since August the 6th, the strategy has shifted. For every square kilometer of Ukrainian land captured, Ukrainian forces are advancing multiple kilometers into Russian territory. While the Russian army might manage to replenish the personnel losses, they are increasingly struggling with territorial losses. Belarusians are also fighting in the Kursk region of the Russian Federation as part of Ukrainian units. In particular, these are fighters of the tank unit TUR of the 225th Separate Assault Battalion. The backbone of the TUR unit is made up of Belarusian volunteers. The fighters carry out complex operations and retrieve damaged Russian equipment from the front, which they then repair and use. In the Kursk region, a tank displaying the white-red-white flag has been spotted. This flag is typically used by the TUR unit, which is composed of Belarusian fighters and is integrated into the 225th Separate Assault Brigade of the Ukrainian Armed Forces. Recently, Belarusian tank unit has acquired a unique trophy for Ukraine a modern Russian tank T-90M Prorev-3. This modification is one of the newest Russian developments. Recall, Belarusians have a complex role in the war, both through official support for Russia and by actively fighting in Ukraine. Belarusian volunteers and military formations contribute significantly to Ukraine's defense against Russian aggression, reflecting their commitment to Ukrainian sovereignty and opposition to the Belarusian government's policies.